In this video, I'm going to talk about how the best boxers in history were Muslims. Um, Rocky Balboa was good. I, I give Rocky Balboa about third or fourth as far as boxers go. And that's being gracious. Okay, The best boxer was Ali and then Tyson. Both of them, both of them were Muslims. So why are Muslims fighting better than Christians? Well, it's simple. It has to do with the religion, for one. A Christian is not likely to become a boxer in the first place, a devout Christian, because it's a violent sport and it has little to do with God. It's everything to do with evil and beating people up for money. So why is Islam invading Nigeria to beat people up for money? Don't, don't get twisted. In Ali's prime, I would have broken his arm and broke his fucking neck before he got the second punch in. I'm fashioning him. I'm better than him. I'm the best fighter in the world, period. And I'm getting old. I am undefeated in the ring. Even Tyson was defeated. Now, when you understand that I've won every fight in my life except for my family's because I held back I can't think of a single fight I've ever gotten in with my family that I didn't hold back okay only a maniac wouldn't hold back and my family they didn't hold back with me as much as I held back with them and nobody ever won our scuffles but I was always the one holding back now besides that when it had nothing to do with my family I'm undefeated by far the only exception might be a wrestling match that I didn't really um try too hard and the person outweighed me by 50 pounds and when we're talking about a physical match nobody's ever beat me we're talking about the fists and martial arts oh uh, yeah they, they could only dream to beat me if you look at the Mexicans Mexicans admit that black people are better fighters Mayweather beat De La Hoya I mean they know that no Hispanic can come anywhere near close to a black fighter. Even during the riots at Jefferson High in uh, um, uh, um, Los Angeles and Crenshaw High, they had some scuffles, but they had major riots at Jefferson, and it had to do with some petty shit. But what came out of it was the Mexicans saying that we outnumber the blacks, but they're still doing a lot of damage to us because they're stronger than us on average. They're the football players. They're the tall, strong guys. We're the short Mexicans. Okay. So it, it takes about one and a half Mexicans to fight one black guy in a riot. So when the numbers come to about 50 to 30, it's almost an even fight. So when we go to discuss why I'm talking about boxing, because in Nigeria, the Boko Haram and Shikau, they're fighting for money against the Christians. And they're trying to take over the Delta and the oil regions and install uh, Sharia law. All because some faggot named Yusuf. Mohammed Yusuf, who was a fucking bitch, and I'm glad he's dead, was killed by security forces. And I say this to you, Shikau. You're next. We are going to do you like the scum did Mohammed, and there is nothing you can do about it. Your days are numbered, you fanatical piece of shit. See, psychiatry is not just applied by white racist Christians. It's also applied by the few black Christians who sold out. It's also applied by a huge amount of Muslims. Remember when they were training their assassins, they were giving them um, intoxicants and telling them that there's paradise and that, that they could win paradise, they could win 17 virgins. They would take them away from society and brainwash their assassins. Okay, Christianity is more true of a religion than Islam, but I have no problem with regular Muslims, but Boko Haram is my sworn enemy. Now since it's early in the morning, I'm going to end it right here.